Here's question 50. It says a company is creating a new cylindrical container to replace its original container. The new container will have four times the volume, so it's going to hold four times as much as the original container. The height of the new container will remain the same as the height of the original. So the length of the radius of the new container will be two times the length of the radius of the original, four times, eight times, 16. Most people are going to jump at four times the length just because, hey, you want to you're quadrupling the volume, so might as well quadruple the radius, but that's going to be a mistake. Let's take container one, the original container, and container two, the new container. Now, to find the volume, it's pi r squared, the area of the bottom, times the height. It's going to be the same here, pi r squared times the height. Now, the height doesn't change, so that h stays the same, so we're not going to mess with that. We also can sort of just eliminate pi because pi is not going to make any difference. Well, let's now play with the radius. Let's pretend that the original radius was 3. That means when we did 3 squared, we got what? 9. 9 would be our volume in this case, let's say. Well, if I take the 3 and I double it, if you double 3, you have what? This guy's radius, new radius of the new container would be 6 squared, that's going to end up being a volume of 36. Notice what the volume is. The volume is triple, no, not triple, not double, but how much? The volume is four times as much there. So basically, if I double the radius of the original container, I'll get four times as much. The option is going to be choice A, two times the length of the radius. Now again, let's go back to this and let's imagine the radius was 3 again and we squared it. If you try to make the length of the radius 4 times as much, instead of 6, 3 times 4 would make it 12 squared, which would be 144. And you can see 9 compared to 144, this is 16 times as much as that guy. And again, the volume we didn't want to make 16 times as large, we want to make it 4 times as large. So again, option A goes back to this because when you start squaring things, or even cubing things, things grow much faster than you would ever think. So problem number 50, the answer is A.